Hello and welcome to BISP Solution. My name is Ankita and today we are going to learn multi-period data load using data management. Uh, multi-period uh, data is being loaded for the entire fiscal year or uh, multiple years like budgeting or forecasting data. We can use multi-period files to load data. One single file can be imported for multi-periods in multiple columns. In import format, file type will be multi-column numeric data. We will further understand this practically. Uh, this is the data file uh, that we are going to load. Uh, here we have, uh, this is the employee, uh, this is the account, and this is entity. Uh, in the third column, we have employee. This is basically uh, the salary uh, planning of uh, financial year 22. Now we will load this data with the help of uh, data management. Uh, this is called multi-column because you can, as you can see that we have the data from January to December. Now we will move forward uh, here. We will first go to Navigator. From Navigator, I will select Data Management. I will first go to Setup. In Setup, I will create a source system. Here I have created a source system names file. Uh, as uh, we are loading a flat file. Then uh, I will go to target application. In target application, I have created a target application named DTA underscore WFPN. Uh, we can add target application by, uh, by clicking on this add plus sign. From here, I will select the local. By selecting local, we will go to planning, then the application name, and we will give the prefix. This is how we create a target application. After creating the ta target application, uh, you can see that uh, we will be getting the application details here. All the dimensions will be available. After uh, creating target application, we will go to import format. In the import format, I will create an import format by adding the name. Uh, then uh, I will add the source file here. Then I will mention the target file. Uh, we will add the source file by clicking on this magnifying glass. And from here, I will select the files. This is how we select source file and also the target application. Here in the given situation, I have already created uh, the source file. Here, uh, sorry, import file. Uh, my import file is named IMF underscore DTA underscore WFPN1. Uh, here, uh, the file type is multi column numeric data, which is a comma delimiter. Here, I will do the mapping. Uh, in the flat file, you have seen that the account is in column one. Uh, I can show you that again for better explanation. Then uh, the amount column uh, for amount I have selected field number seven. Why so? Because you can see that the uh, account column is one, then two, three, four, five, six, and from seventh column, uh, the amount is starting. Here I have selected the seven column. As you can see that uh, it is a multi, uh, multi column data uh, as we have a uh, multi period. I will click on this edit expression. From here, I will select driver. Then I will in dimension, I will select the period. Then I will mention the column, which is from seven to 18. After clicking on OK, we will get the, the expression here. 
then uh, we will map the data. The component is in field number five. One, two, three, four, and here it is five. Like, uh, in the same manner, I will be selecting all the source column. After creating the source column, I will save the changes that I made in import format. After that, I will go to location. In location, I will uh, create a location by clicking on this plus sign. Here, I will mention the name as per the requirement. Then I will uh, mention the import format. Like uh, I want to add the import format here is IMF underscore DT underscore WFPN1. So I will be selecting it. Uh, so we will get the source and the target automatically. After that, I will save the data that I've created. After that, I will go to period mapping. In the period mapping, I will go to application mapping. Here the target application is DDA WFP, DDA WFPN. So here I have mapped the period. Then I will go to source mapping. Here my file is. Yeah, we have mapped uh, the source system as well. After that, I will go to category mapping. Here um, I have, I'm going to application mapping. I have uh, uh, mapped it as plan category. After that, I will go to workflow. In workflow, I will go to data load mapping first. Here I will be doing the light mapping for all the dimensions. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's an account dimension, then component. After mapping it, I will uh, check it, check whether all the mapping are correct or not. Uh, yeah, in data, we will not be, uh, we, will, we will not be mapping it. Just all the dimensions will be mapped and we will do the light mapping here. After doing mapping and saving it, I will move forward to data load rules. Here the location is remember and the period I will be selecting here as January. The category is plan. Here, we have got the data uh, load rule summary. We can add uh, DLR by clicking on the plus sign and naming the DLR. Then, uh, then after that, I will I can add input format. Like here, I have mentioned DLR underscore. Data WFPN. Like this, we can name it and we can mention the import format. Then we will save it. After saving it, I will add the CSV file that I have shown you before. Then I will save it again. Then I will go to execute. Our end period is December. I will run the execution. Then I will refresh it. Here we can see that here we have got a green tick as the status. 
Now we will go to data load workbench. Here we can see that we have got the three fishes and uh, all the data is being loaded. To check whether the data is being loaded or not, we will uh, go to Excel sheet. And I will create a smart view connection. Here I will be mentioning the year as FY22, entity as LTM, component as grade one, property, in property we will be adding no property. In department, I will be adding HO support. Job will be accounting director. Employee will be E triple zero. Currency is USD. Version is working. Then scenario will be our plan. Which is preview will be phase. Its data then period will be Jan. I will be selecting grade one. will be here we will be adding grade one now we will refresh it all the dimensions are correct now here we can see the average salary for January month is this. So we can see that the data uh, we have loaded are all visible. Uh, we will see the data for rest of the month as well. Here you can see that uh, the data has been loaded for all the periods. This is how we load uh, data using data management for multi-column. For any more queries, please feel free to ask. Thank you.